Hi winners, look welcome to Terry's Tips guys. Get a notebook, get a pen because this is a video that you have been asking for. Five steps to get approved y'all for a business line of credit guys a business line of credit is like the best funding you will ever get it's super flexible it's revolving it's unsecured for this kind i'm talking about and it replenishes when you pay it back and it actually increases super quickly guys so i don't care if you are a big business small business a self-employed entrepreneur side hustle investor a goal for everybody should be to get a business line of credit because all businesses big and small need capital to run okay so in this video i'm going to outline the five steps i'm actually going to also give you like some best practices and some tips in each step now, pause. Guys, one of my personal goals for 2023 is to grow our Terry's Tips community to 50,000 winners, okay? Let's become financially free together. So if you get value from this video or any of my videos, I would love for you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this, guys, to your social media, with your family, your friends, your network. It's time to get financially free, okay, guys? And I'll do my nugget at the end. So step number one, well, actually, pre-step. I have a pre-step for you. Your pre-step is to get incorporated. That means register your business with the state to have an EIN required, guys, okay? Whether you have employees or not, whether it's a side hustle or not, whether you're a full-time entrepreneur or not, okay? Because you want the business line of credit to be in your EIN and your business name, not your name in your personal social, okay? And a business checking account, non-negotiable, right? Because for a business line of credit, when you get approved, and you will, they actually direct deposit the money into your business checking account, and then you can use it for anything. So your pre-step, be incorporated, EIN, business checking account, non-negotiable. All right, now step number one, okay, is to pull your personal and business credit reports. Guys, you must know where you stand before you go to the lender. This is high level nugget. Stop applying for things and just crossing your fingers, right? So even like, you know, shout to all my winners that were on our Zoom training last night. One of the action items I gave them was to have a 700 and above personal credit score. Now, I'm not saying that for a business line of credit, you necessarily have to always have a 700, but let's be real. Let's be, let me be transparent with you. The higher your credit score, the more likely you are to get approved and the more likely you are to get a big amount, okay? So pull your personal credit and figure out where you are. Pull your business credit. Now, right here, depending on the lender, they may or may not look at your business credit a whole lot, but no matter what, even though this is business credit and business funding, the majority of the lenders will still look at you, the business owner's personal credit as part of the approval process, even if it's in your business's name, business EIN, reports to the business bureaus. Okay, so pull your personal credit reports. Um, I recommend my FICO or credit check total. Um, and for business, I recommend you do NAV, NAV.com. All right, now step number two, also critical, determine how much you need and what you're going to use it for. This is not a fluff step. Sometimes you guys actually go in front of these lenders and what you say to the lender or what you put in your application is the reason why you're being denied, okay? So how much money do you need, right? And if you're a brand new business with poor personal credit and no revenue, don't go to lenders asking for $100,000. Can I be real with you, okay? So do something that's reasonable for your type of business, your expenses that will help you grow, that's comparable with your revenue, if you have any, that's comparable with what you need to grow your business, how much money do you need? Now, business reason. Guys, lenders want to fund businesses that are thriving, that are growing. So you are not, not, not saying things like, I need it just in case. I need it as a cushion. I'm gonna have it as a reserve. I plan on getting it, but not using it right away. Literally, lenders hate to hear that. They don't want to approve you for money, and then you're going to say, well, I'm not really going to use it anyway. They want to fund lend uh, businesses, right, that are growing, thriving. So some better uses, right, are expansion, opening up a new location, um, hiring employees, if there's any kind of equipment, if there's inventory, maybe marketing, um, if you need, like, you know, cell phones and laptops, you know, something, um, even, like, renovations, franchising. Guys, think about something that's a good use 
for your actual business that would help you grow, okay? The reason why, know this in advance. Do not get it from the lender and not have it mapped out as far as what you need the money for and how much you need and what you're gonna do to um, what it's gonna do to help you grow your brand, okay? Now, step number three, also critical, is to pick the lender. Critical, okay? So I'm gonna put it in three categories, right? You're gonna have your big banks, right? Your big banks are like your Chase's and your Wells Fargo and your Bank of America, right? Then you're gonna have your mid-level banks. I'm gonna put credit unions in here too. Your mid-level banks, your regional banks. Those are banks like um, Regions, Citizens, um, Key Bank, um, Truist, uh, bb and um, all of those things, or your credit unions, guys. Nugget, the mid-level banks, have money for entrepreneurs. They even have money for women. They have money for vets. They have money for minorities. And the majority of this funding is not advertised anywhere. So a lot of times they have all this money that they actually need to give away, but people don't apply for it and people don't qualify for it. Come on, somebody, okay? So these mid-level banks, if you have a relationship with the mid-level bank, then you want to go there over some of the bigger banks because for some of the bigger banks, you need to have... You know, impeccable credit, 750, 800, and they want to see a good amount of revenue. The mid-level banks and credit unions, if your credit union has a business line of credit, were are much, much more likely to approve you and work with you. And then the third tier is going to be your fintech companies. Now, what is a fintech company, right? I talk about them all the time. A fintech company is an alternative lender, private lender that actually specializes, look, specializes in funding small businesses. I talk about them a ton. They have way less documentation, um, much lower requirements. They fund quickly, a day, two days, three days. And they're much more likely to work with somebody if they don't have perfect credit, perfect revenue, brand new businesses, right? Super flexible. Sometimes they will have a higher interest rate, right? Because they're working with uh, businesses, you know, entrepreneurs, investors are a little bit higher risk. But it's worth it because you're going to put the money into something income producing because we're building wealth, not getting into debt, and then you grow that relationship. Now, pause, depending on when you're watching this video, I will, I've done a bunch of videos on fintech companies, right? There's a ton of them. I will, I'm going to pin, I think I'm going to pin it in the comments. I'll pin some of my videos where I highlight some reputable fintech companies. Watch those videos. Watch this video again to go over the steps, okay? And then pick your lender. Now, in this step where you're picking the lender, you're also going to do your research. That means look on their website. They'll tell you, you must be incorporated six months. You must have, you know, a 600 credit score. You must have a 650 credit score. Um, we need, we don't care about revenue. We want 100,000 in revenue. Do your research, okay? So find out, you know, based on the different lenders, what is it they're requiring to actually approve you, okay? That's step number three. Now, step number four is to make sure you meet those requirements. That means that they tell you you have to be in business for six months and you've been in business for five, well, you're waiting 30 days before you apply. You're not going to go for it right now. That means that they tell you you must have a 650 credit score and you only have a 620. Well, you're working on your credit to get it to a 650 before you apply. And pause. Depending on when you're watching this video, I'm having a Zoom training on personal credit scores January 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll put the link in the description and also I'll pin it in the comments. So this is actually part of building business credit, making sure your personal scores are high, 680 and above, or and 700 and above is like really what I want you guys to be a 700 and above. So do the actual work in this step to make sure you meet the criteria of the lender, whatever you need to do for personal, whatever you need to do for business. Another example for business is making sure that you have a done that matches all your information and making sure that your business address matches everywhere. The business address with registered with the state is the same as your EIN, is the same as your DUNS, is the same as your business bank account. Literally, last night, shout out to those winners, I showed them the underwriting criteria for some lenders where it actually says business address matching everywhere. Guys, you can have everything else done and it be something small like that and they will deny you. Shout out to my winners that were on the Zoom last night. I went in for almost like, we did like, what, two and a half hours, maybe almost 245, and I showed them everything, okay? So make sure you meet the requirements. And then step number five, 
apply and go get your money, right? Once you've done all this pre-work, guys, you've checked your reports, you've picked the lender, you know how much money you need, um, you know what you're going to use it for, you've made sure you meet the requirements, go get your money. One of the questions I kept getting asked was, how do I use a business line of credit to buy a car? Guys, a business line, of, take, take the buy a car out because I don't want you guys to overthink it. All you do is get approved for a business line of credit. And then what you use it for is a thousand percent up to you. It's not any different getting approved for a business line of credit for a car than it is getting approved for a business line of credit for payroll, expansion, renovations, um, equipment, you know, all those other examples I gave to you. So your goal is get approved for a business line of credit. And what you use it for is one thousand percent up to you. Okay, guys, so I hope that that helped. And for my nugget. Repetition, write it down. Adults learn by repetition. You become an expert by repetition. What is it, like 10,000 hours they say you need to be doing something to actually consider yourself as being an expert? So what does that mean? When I'm having Zooms, when I'm having courses, when you guys are watching videos, don't, you're frustrating yourself because you're watching one video, look, one video, one time, and you expect to remember it all and be an expert. Guys, repetition is the mother of all the key of all learning it is so watch the video rewatch the video go to the training go to another training go to the master class do the workshop make sure you're actually doing the work but as you do it more and more as you hear it more as you see it more as you're doing the activity as you're staying in the environment come on somebody that's how you actually get the knowledge the skills the experience to change your whole life that's how you actually learn. So repetition. I hope I'll see you at the Zoom on the 25th because even if you've been working on your credit, you may need to hear it a different way, see it a different way, um, learn something new so you can actually level up and have financial freedom. Amen? Repetition is the key to becoming an expert.